Do you want to declutter your photos but are worried that you will lose your important memories? Well, don't worry, I'm here to help you declutter your photo collection the right way. Do you have thousands of photos on your phone or computer and the thought of decluttering them feels impossible? By the end of this video, you'll have a simple stress-free plan for keeping your photos that tell the story of you. And stay tuned until the end for my game-changing tip that will make your photo organizing easier than ever. Step one, start with a clear goal. Before you dive into the process of decluttering your photos, take a moment to think about why you're doing this. Setting a clear goal will help keep you focused and on track, especially when the process gets overwhelming. Ask yourself, do I want to reduce clutter to make it easier to navigate my library? Am I trying to make space for new photos? Do I want to organize my photos so I can find specific moments faster? Having a goal like reducing my library by 50% or only keeping photos that spark a memory will give you something to aim for. For instance, if your goal is to make finding photos easier, you can focus on organizing events and important moments rather than just deleting random shots. Step two, back up before you begin. Again, before you start decluttering, make sure you have a complete backup of your entire photo collection. The last thing you want is to accidentally delete an important photo without any way of recovering it. Use cloud services like Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, or even an external hard drive to create a full backup. That way you can declutter it with confidence, knowing that your memories are safely stored and can be restored if needed. For example, if you're using OneDrive, you can turn on the phone app to automatically back up your photos before you start deleting. This step gives you peace of mind and helps avoid any mistakes that can't be undone. Step three, focus on one category at a time. Trying to tackle everything at once can feel overwhelming, so take it step by step. Instead of trying to declutter your entire library all at once, break it down by category. This will make the task feel more manageable and less stressful. Start with the easiest category, duplicates. Almost everyone has a ton of duplicates they don't even realize are there. Once you've gotten rid of those, you can move on to the blurry or the poor quality images, shots that you know you won't ever use. After that, target your screenshots or randomly saved images that don't have any sentimental value. For example, you might find dozens of identical sunset photos that look the same. Just keep one or two of the best and delete the rest. Breaking it down like this makes the task less daunting and gives you a small win after each section. And don't worry, there are some amazing tools out there to help you find those duplicates. Check out this other video about your deduplication tool options in the link up here. Step four, embrace the power of albums. Now that you've cleared out the obvious clutter, it's time to organize the photos you want to keep. One of the best ways to do this is create albums or folders. This would not only help you declutter, but also make it easier to find specific photos later on. Create albums based on key events or themes, such as family, vacations and holidays, and birthdays. If an event has too many photos, break it down into sub-albums. For instance, instead of having your entire summer holiday photos in one place, you can create sub-albums like Paris trip day one, Paris trip day two. This level of organization makes it easier to find exactly what you're looking for when you need it. Step five, ask the right questions. Deciding which photos to keep and which to delete can be tough but asking yourself the right questions can make the process easier. Think about the significance of each photo and whether it truly holds value. Ask yourself, does this photo spark happiness or an important memory? Do I have multiple similar shots of the same thing? Would I miss this photo if I never saw it again? For example, if you have 10 photos of the same beach from slightly different angles, Keep the one that's best composed or holds the most emotional value and delete the rest. This process helps you focus on the moments that really matter. Step six, make use of tools and apps. 
You don't have to go through your entire photo collection manually. There are plenty of tools out there that can help speed up the process. Use photo management apps to your advantage, especially when it comes to identifying duplicates and sorting through thousands of images. For larger collections, more advanced software like Xira or Mylio can help you tag and categorize photos based on facial recognition and metadata. This can save you hours of time and ensure everything is properly organized. Step seven, declutter regularly. Decluttering should not be a one-time task. The best way to maintain a minimalist photo collection is to declutter regularly. Set up a system where you go through your most recent photos every few months or after major events. For instance, after a holiday or a family gathering, spend a few minutes reviewing your photos. Delete any blurry, duplicate or unnecessary images while the event is still fresh in your mind. You can even set a reminder on your phone every three months to go through your latest uploads and clear out your clutter. This habit will keep your photo collection manageable and save you from having to tackle a massive backlog later. My game-changing tip. Here is the game-changing tip that will make organizing your photos so much easier. Create a favorites folder for your most cherished memories. After decluttering, go through and use the heart icon or favorite feature on your phone or photo management app to mark photos that mean the most to you. Move those into a folder called top memories or favorites so you can access them quickly without having to search through your entire library. This way, even with thousands of photos, you'll always know where to find your most meaningful moments. By curating this special collection, you ensure your favorite photos are front and center, making them easy to share, print, and just revisit when you want to relive those special times. There you have it. Decluttering your photo collection doesn't mean losing your precious memories. By asking the right questions, using helpful tools, and regularly maintaining your library, you'll be left with a curated collection that truly tells your story. But are you not sure what your photo management tool should be able to do? Then check out this video next on the essential requirements for your photo organizing software. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tips on organizing your photos. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.